Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Gaming PC Starting at number 5 Origin Kronos V3 We couldn't decide if we liked the monolithic stature of the HP Omen 25L or its fun RGB-filled lighting emanating from the front and through the side glass panel. Either way, this computer makes a statement. And, considering that this is really a mid-tier gaming PC, that's more than we would have expected. Its performance is more in line with its mid-range stature, which means it's not going to break any records. Instead, it gave us solid 1080p performance in our testing, allowing us to get good results in games like Cyberpunk 2077. And, we even managed some decent 4K results with games like Battlefield 2042. Of course, there have been issues out there with overheating GPUs, but that's what the warranty is for. More importantly, if there are any issues, this PC has easy tool less access to the internals. Just a push of a button and the whole glass side panel can easily be removed. Coming at number 4. Alienware Aurora R16. The old space age look of the Alienware Aurora is no more, with Dell launching a brand new redesign that takes that unique Alienware design into the modern age. This new chassis will still remind you of the original, but it's sleeker and more compact, so compact, in fact, that it might just fit in the chassis of its predecessor. That impressive Alienware performance is still there, however. During testing, it slowed a little when we played Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K, dropping the frame rate to 16 frames per second without DLSS 3 active. Still, it handled titles like Cyberpunk 2077 and Dirt 5 like a pro, with the former scoring nearly 60 frames per second consistently while the latter hitting over 150 frames per second on lower settings. What impressed us most about this version of the Alienware desktop is its elevated cooling system. Despite its smaller chassis, its ventilation is among the best and quietest we've seen, with not a single moment of overheating during our long gaming sessions. That's all thanks to the several vents and the 240mm liquid cooling system inside working together. At number 3. Acer Predator Orion 7000. The Acer Predator Orion 7000, 2023, is a gaming PC and refresh of the 2022 Predator Orion 7000 that still delivers beauty and power in spades, making it a top choice if you're not strapped for cash. Its high-end specs guarantee a smooth gaming experience and have seen us through completely maxed out sessions, including 4K resolution, HDR, ray tracing, and 120 frames per second of Final Fantasy VII Remake without breaking a sweat. It even performed at a max of 256 frames per second with all those settings turned on. Of course, being this powerful does have some drawbacks namely, the loud fans that go on overdrive when you're playing on Ultra. However, on the plus side, we found that its well-constructed cooling system keeps running smoothly without turning into a furnace. The fan noise doesn't bother us anyway, especially when we've got a decent headset on. Number 2 of my list HP Victus 15L The HP Victus 15L is clearly a budget gaming PC. It's smaller, it's less robust, and the components available are a bit on the weaker side. But, these are not all necessarily bad things. To start, this means that the price of entry is lower than a lot of other options. Even the kid out version is affordable. Also, it will fit in more cramped desk setups than much of the competition. On top of that, when we tested the HP Victus 15L, we found it to offer good 1080p performance as long as we played with the settings a little bit. It's more than capable for most games and gamers, just avoid ultra settings than ray tracing and you'll be fine. Add in the large amount of ports lining the front and this is a great option for someone wanting a gaming machine made for competitive gaming on the cheap. And number 1. Lenovo Legion Tower. While we wish the Lenovo Legion Tower 5 I had a more accessible USB-C port and were not so thrilled with some of the bloatware it comes with. The performance on this desktop is just about legendary for a mid-range computer. You won't be able to do 4K on high settings or take much advantage of ray tracing, but you will get fantastic 1080p performance. In test, 
we were able to play a number of demanding AAA titles on very high settings with little impact to performance. It was only when turning on ray tracing or VRAM hungry processes like motion blur that we would experience any screen tearing. On top of its stellar mid-range performance, this is a good-looking PC. Its venting, which runs across the front, top, and back of the chassis, not only allows it to keep the internals cool, but also allows for plenty of the RGB lighting from the cooling fans as well as its logo to shine bright. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.